Diane Jones. Does the panel agree that trans women are women, trans men are men, and non-binary people are valid and worthy of recognition in the law? Prompted, I suppose, in part by Sam Smith's uh, request to his fans this week to use the pronouns they, them, not he, him, after he came out as non-binary. Uh, Liz Savile Roberts. Yes, of course. <laughs> Minette Batters. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> David Davies. Everyone is valid in the eyes of the law. Nobody should face discrimination or verbal abuse of any sort. But I would have concerns about allowing somebody who is physically male into areas like prison wards or uh, prisons or um, hospital wards where women expect a measure of privacy. And I think that most people would agree with that. Lisa Nandy. Um, so, um, basically what Liz said and Minette said and not what David said. <laughs> um, I, I also think that there needs to be an awful lot more understanding about this. I think we need a lot more education about it, and I don't just mean amongst young people. The young people in my constituency seem to understand it better than people my age. So I think we need more education, and I think we need a lot more support as well for people, because at the moment, especially with Britain becoming less tolerant uh, and more angry, I think this is quite a frightening place for a lot of people, and I think we need more support for people at the moment. This may well be one for any answers in Eton and Anand after the Saturday edition of Any Questions. Let me go back to the question, though. Diane. Thank you for the panels, most of the panel's understanding and support. And yes, there does need to be more education, more realisation. There is an issue when we have elected MPs voting, bringing groups who are anti-transgender into the Houses of, House of Parliament, allowing them a platform and then refusing to speak to their constituents in their constituency surgeries when requested. And I think that is an issue okay. that needs to be addressed. Diane, thank you very much.